is Wolo. The sun is beautiful. It's no longer winter peg, but sunny peg. Yes. <laughs> I am super, super excited because we are now in summer and I can now take a stroll outside. I can enjoy the weather. I can no longer complain about the cold. <laughs> anyway, um, today's video is about immigrants. You know I like to talk about immigration to Canada and life in Canada. So today I'll be talking about immigrants in Canada. And um, this is based on my own opinion. I see that or I think that immigrants are the ones sustaining the economy of this country and that's why Canada needs more immigrants because recently um, because of the COVID-19 situation where a lot of people are now working from home some people have lost their jobs please um, forgive the noise you can see that I'm on the road Anyway, so back to what I was saying. Because of what has happened so far, I find that so many people are actually lazy going back to work because the government is giving out a lot of benefits to these people. They don't want to go back to work. You can imagine because the government is giving $2,000, giving families with children extra 300 Canada child benefits. And then there are jobs. But most people are not willing to go back to work to take these jobs because they can just sit at home and get this government money without doing anything. There are really jobs. It's only people who are interested in working that can get these jobs. Yes, it is now an employer's market. But I don't understand why somebody would just decide to sit at home and say, Oh, because the government is giving me $2,000, what's the point going to get a job? You know, so that's why Canada needs more immigrants. I'll give an, a, a typical example. Like New Brunswick, um, they actually banned foreign workers from entering Canada um, and stated that people who are already in New Brunswick should be able to pick up those jobs. But guess what? Nobody was willing to go and start doing those jobs. That is why you have immigrants. Nobody was willing to pick up those jobs and now they've lifted the ban and they are now allowing temporary foreign workers to come into Canada to work in the farming industry. So this is why I say it's actually immigrants that is sustaining the economy of Canada. And even after the pandemic, it's been already been announced that after the pandemic, immigration still continues. And I just want to say something which I don't like about this situation and that's because it is making certain people lazy and making them feel that they can actually sit on welfare on government benefits and not work and then still get some money from the government so anybody who is planning to come to Canada don't worry the rules will change for your favor just just keep believing that the rules will change for your favor and you will eventually arrive in Canada and you start seeing things for yourself that there are a lot of people who are not willing to work there is so much work to be done there are so many industries that people can work in the healthcare industry they need personal support workers for the elderly people the farming industry they need farmers to farm and produce food there are a lot of places people can work, but a lot of people do not want to work. So that's why immigration will still continue in Canada. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. I want to go for shopping. Um, this is Gildonan Place. So I'm just going to the mall there to do one or two shopping and then from there I'll go to Ikea. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.